Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to clone uh, a repository from the GitHub account. I have a project. This is actually a Java project which is created using uh, Eclipse IDE. I have Eclipse installed in my computer. I don't know what is the... You can just uh, see here. This is, these are the details of the Eclipse in my computer. Uh, truly speaking, I actually I, 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 I did not install any package related to Eclipse and uh, all these settings, uh, I mean nowadays when we install IDEs you know, all IDEs are equipped with uh, uh, mechanisms to push and pull uh, software projects to and fro between the local computer and that of GitHub. So I use uh, Atom and even Atom has that capability. I use VS Code, VS Code has that capability and even in Eclipse we have that, I think by default you will have the all those uh, dependencies or requirements uh, uh, which are, I mean dependencies which are required to work with GitHub. Now in this video I am going to show you how to get this repository. I have uh, a repo called Enterprise in my GitHub. So in my previous video I have shown you how to push, you know, commit and push the project from local computer to the GitHub. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get this down to the computer because uh, I am the developer and I am the collaborator. But uh, in most of the time, what happens, uh, a woman can share his or her project with a couple of uh, collaborators. Now, in this video, I'm assuming that I am a collaborator, I'm not the owner of the project, despite of the fact that I'm the owner of the project. Okay. So, if I am a collaborator, then uh, what should I do? So. <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about pulling. Uh, if I am a collaborator, actually, I need to. I'll be finding a repository with somebody account, and then I'll pull that. I'll make a pull request, and I'll get that into my account first. And imagine that this is the account which I borrowed from somebody. So that is what I can say. Now, what happens? Uh, so, having some certain repository in GitHub, how to get it down to the local computer, especially inside? Eclipse idea. That is what is. I'm just going to confine to this particular discussion. I'm not going to. But there are many things we can do with GitHub, but everything it's not possible for us to accomplish everything. In my previous video, I've shown you how to push, uh, commit, and push uh, the project uh, from the computer to the GitHub. And in this video, I'm showing how to get the project down to the computer. Okay. So for every project, there is this button code. So I am assuming that uh, you know I'm a collaborator. I'm not the owner of the. If I'm the owner, then I can use SSH. Uh, for this, I need to have sufficient uh, authentication. I mean, I need to register my device with, uh, I mean, device in the sense, this computer machine with uh, the existing GitHub account. Uh, this machine is not registered. Uh, I have not established uh, established a passwordless uh, secure, secure shell login with this machine. So that is why I'm just going to this HTTPS. Now I need to copy this address and then go back to the computer. So there are many ways here we can, we can uh, one way is to go to the window and uh, there is a show show view other and here you have this you know JIT or Git and Git repositories you can just open this is one way. The other way is just in an import project you can press this again you will come here JIT and it will ask the projects from Git or projects from uh, the smart import or something like that. I don't know what is this project from this. But I will show you uh, from uh, the, the first method that is window, uh, you go, go to the menu window and there you have show view, and then go to other, and here you have git repository. Select git repositories under the, under the option git, git repositories, open. Now, the left or bottom side, you have uh, this is actually a convenient way rather compared to the, the way that we import from here. That is now there are three options here. The first one is add an existing local repository. I already, already have one, but uh, but the, I'm assuming that this is the first time I'm getting that repository into my Eclipse. The second option is relevant for me. Clone a Git repository. This is what I do with this. When I press this, uh, imagine uh, this is how you 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 get a window like this, okay? And then here URI. Here you need to paste the URL. URI which we copied from the GitHub. So here, okay, this is the URI which I copied, and that I need to paste here. And rest of the details are populated automatically. I don't need to. And here, this is important. See, I am using HTTPS. 
you have to be very cautious. You can't, uh, otherwise you need to go for the jet. Okay? So I am using uh, HTTP as secure HTTP, HTTP yes, that is sufficient. It doesn't require any. Now I need to provide the user uh, uh, credentials here. Yeah? My user uh, name is uh, my email ID. I use uh, email ID to log in and log out uh, in my GitHub uh, account for my I got a username and password for my GitHub and same credentials I'm using here. Okay, if you so everybody those who have accounts must be having the user ID and password. And we need to deal with this user ID and password here. If I want I can also store that in my computer, but I don't want to do that. So when you when you go to the next it will ask you like you know there are two branches which branch you really want to I think I have my code in master as I have shown you in the beginning of the video. Uh, the rest of them are keep them default and then press next. Where do you want to take it? So here if it shows you default, default is not okay to me. User admin jet and all that is not no. I want to take this to a particular I already have that uh, because I am the owner and the collaborator. So I want to choose uh, already existing uh, uh, this is actually the path where I want to take it to. And then what I do, I'll keep uh, rest of them as it is, original and original, and finish. Now here, see here, there is a change. Now it, my Eclipse has brought that uh, you know, repository into the computer. Now this is the place where, uh, this is the D, O, Eclipse, the same path. Now, how to take it uh, into this uh, project explorer? Because we'll be working with the project explorer. We'll not be working. I can open those uh, you know, files here. So here, what you need to do is right click, okay, show in, and then project explorer. Not the package explorer. Please. Project explorer. Now, what happens is, should be able to. It is not uh, showing me. Let me. I think I'll cancel that. Okay, no problem. I can once again, I can. Uh, there are many, many ways. But uh, this is all a project explorer. Now I go. Okay, import project. I'll go for a bit. Uh, project from the bit and go for, I'll go for this uh, existing local repository. And then, yes, this is what I want to get. Next. And then, okay, you can import existing Eclipse. Yeah. Now, I, yeah. Same thing, I just can now I got everything here. So, okay, now you see the same the code should be the same. So this is all. Now I can start working with this code. And once I feel that, you know, I want to, so, so look uh, into the, I mean, I have another separate video, uh, how to take this code from the computer to the GitHub, okay? So this is from this video. In this video, I've shown you how to get the GitHub repository down to the computer, into your computer, that to inside the Eclipse ID. And to take this um, uh, project uh, into your repository in GitHub, please watch my other video. Thanks for watching this video.